Hi everyone, Happy New Year to all of you. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my bullet journal. So for those who don't know what a bullet journal is, it is a journaling method which was uh, created by Carol Ryder and uh, as the name suggests, bullet journal. It's a very precise and concise way in which you can put down your thoughts, whatever thoughts and uh, keep track of it. So for example, if you have uh, ideas, you get ideas, like I get ideas when I go to sleep. So um, when you get those ideas, you're not really jotting it down anywhere. I used to sometimes do that, but not always. So uh, the bullet journal will help you. There is a page in which you can just put down your ideas and you can also keep track of what you're doing really about those ideas. Or uh, it could be just the simple task that you have planned for the day or maybe for the entire year you have certain uh, plans and tasks that you need to complete goals wishes dreams tracking your finances you want to have new habits uh, a lot of things that you can do through the bullet journal but it is not very elaborate it is very concise and very quick to do, quick to analyze. It will just take five minutes of your day to really go through or enter or just see what you're supposed to do and how your day was or your month was. Uh, maybe in the beginning, the setup might take a little time, but it's worth the try because I've been doing it for four months and I am in love with the bullet journaling method. Uh, I will put down some links for you to check out more about uh, what bullet journaling is. Uh, there are a lot of people who are doing a lot of creative things. If you are a creative person, please go ahead. But uh, to start with, uh, do try out a simple bullet journal. Try out a very minimal design and start writing. And I'm sure you will like doing it and maintaining uh, a journal which is the bullet journal. So let's go ahead and uh, see my bullet journal setup for this year. So here's my first planner for this year, my bullet journal planner for this year. I bought it from Amazon. It's a fact -a note company and a dotted bullet journal which works well for a bullet journal. Uh, they recommend a dotted one but you can use any kind of bullet journal any kind of notebook to make your bullet journal I used a blank one when I started off and I used it for four months it worked well but I felt that um, making the lines and all would get a little more easier if I use the dotted one and um, the next thing that you would require is a pencil so a pencil because uh, you might want to create your plan and then maybe some errors are there you might want to erase it and then a pen any kind of pen a ball pen will do I used a ball pen uh, I bought these micron pens these are fine tip pens a 01 and a 005 this will help you to write the numbers inside the small squares that are there so to write your dates and make your calendar so if you can grab hold of any one of these it will be great otherwise uh, even a fine tip ball pen or a pilot pen or a fountain pen any gel pen will also do with a fine tip i have used a very minimal design not much i would like to keep it simple but still have something there so the first page was a little overcrowded i feel but uh, yeah this is the left side and that's a bullet journal key so a bullet journal has a key which will help you to identify what kind of information you have put in so the first one is task which is denoted by a dot then when the task gets complete you just cross it out if the task is being migrated to another week or a month or then you just uh, put a arrow so these are some of the uh, some so this is the key uh, some of it I have changed um, you can add more if you want to denote so like the name suggests it's a bullet journal so it's just bullet points that you're making 
then I just wrote my name on the other side with a little quote there down so let's go to the next page the next page is the most important page I would say the index where you will put in the important headings and the page number so just if you want to look through the goals that you made for the year just check the page number and go there if you want to look through the month of January just put the number there and you will go there now this is the grid spacing so I've just mentioned the number of dots that are there in the page so that it's easier for me to draw the lines or the make the sections um, so it's up to you whether you would want to make but uh, it's 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 a key again to help you to design your journal and this is my favorite quote from the Bible Romans 12 21 so to start the year with on a good note uh, just drew some flower just copied something from uh, the internet there and uh, yeah so this is the next most important section that's the future log in which you have the calendar so I have taken uh, four pages and uh, under each month I've left the space to write down whatever uh, important things are coming up so this could be planned like um, I'm traveling in the month of Jan so I'll be writing that down maybe uh, traveling again in another month or uh, maybe some important bills have to be paid in a particular month so you write down those you can write on birthdays anniversaries and things like that so this is a place where you can write down the important things for the year which you can get back to when you are creating your monthly log so this is the place where um, you plan the year so that's the future log some people do write in dates too in the blank space uh, so it's up to you how you want to design your future log now the next page is uh, the goals page for me I have just put down two goals for this year one is definitely the YouTube videos that I have been creating I would like to have at least 40 videos made the next year so I just put down boxes so that I can color them once I am done with the video uploads and that keeps a track of the goal that I've set you can have your goals just written down I just thought that I'll use some colors here the next one is the blog that I wish to write so um, I can add in more goals um, as and when I form them and uh, the other side is for the wishes and the dreams that I have maybe for this year maybe for the years to come uh, I just write it down I can also mention whether those have been achieved I'll just cross it out and uh, yeah this gives a glimpse of everything that is there in my head as dreams wishes and goals and things that I want to do so this is where you dump your thoughts the next one is again a dumping place for ideas so here is where whatever comes to mind as ideas can be written down I have also made two columns where um, I can put in the in progress one and the completed one so I know that this idea I am doing something about it or I have done something about it or I have not yet done anything about it so that is this is the place this is something that I think will be full so I might have to make another page for uh, putting down my ideas maybe by media but let's see this one is for challenges that I need to overcome some weaknesses some things that I need to work on the current year so that I am able to achieve my goals my dreams and able to do the tasks that I have to do so I haven't yet started writing it writing them down 
I will have to sit with this page alone for some time to mull over the things that I need to change and overcome. Now the next one is uh, an important one, especially for women, uh, to track their period. Uh, it's a monthly thing and uh, I have been doing this for quite some time now. And as I, we grow older, I think it becomes important to track them too. And uh, because I had space, I thought I'll track my health. I don't have... Uh, this this is this I'm doing for the first time the health tracker so I am not quite sure how I'm going to do it but I have made a key so on the first of every month I'll check my weight and uh, then I have uh, the sickness which I've color coded like if it is red then I'm like having fever if it is blue I'm having cold if it's green I'm in some other ailment maybe stomach ache or headache or something so I'll just uh, track them and I can analyze how my year was what are the things that I've been doing maybe on a particular day I'll understand that it is because of this reason that this has happened uh, I have to figure that out still so let's see how this goes exercise is something I'm also adding in the monthly tracker so uh, yeah so I am trying this out then I have the finance overview because I am tracking my finance on a monthly basis too. So from Jan to December, I'll just write down the income and the expense and whatever balance I'm having. And uh, in the end, this will give me a glimpse of how my year was in terms of the finances. And since I had some space left below, I thought I could do this I saw a few videos when uh, where they have added this when did I last um, do my confession for me I have put that down as my personal thing like to, to keep track of when I confessed last and uh, when did I do my haircut or uh, maybe some people even have uh, keep a track of uh, changing to toothbrush every six months so um, all these things that you can put down to track the dates and uh, during the year you'll be reminded oh I need to go for confession it's been long this is the books to read section which I'm excited about I have not done this uh, but I really want to uh, keep a keep a tab of or uh, have a list of uh, books that I need to read and from where I can find them because there are some books that are not available in India it has to be brought from out so uh, if I know from where I uh, can get them I'll write them down here and if somebody's traveling from that place can get that book for me so yes this is the list of books that I would like to read and get hold of too And the next one is a personal one. This I haven't seen anyone do in their bullet journal. I have seen a lot of people doing uh, Bible journals, having Bible study journals. But um, so I just thought that this would be a good thing to do because I have not been regular in reading my Bible. And uh, I started doing this when I started the bullet journal in September. And every week I take a verse which I can meditate on so I write down that verse there so this the entire year I can meditate on 48 different verses so I'll use the space to write those verses down I have uh, taken two three pages to write the verses down for the year and uh, the last one for the yearly planner is uh, my prayer boot. I used to maintain a book and then I changed to another book and then it was bits and pieces of paper or some diary somewhere where I used to write the prayer request that I received. So this is something that I'm going to start off now that in one place everything is there so write the even the prayer request will come in here so i can write down all the people who have asked for prayers and pray for them in my personal prayer so that's 
uh, for the year these are the things that I want to put down and plan I might have some other things coming up but this is what I have planned for right now now the next one is the monthly journal that I've started with uh, the monthly logs so this is for January 2021 I would start off with whatever I'm grateful for so I'm going to write down the dates and each day at the end of the day what was I grateful for for that particular day this is also like a gratitude journal that people keep so instead of having a full journal of gratitude you can have each month a set page for each day you have something that you're grateful for and this is my monthly calendar in which I can put down the events or the meetings, appointments, whatever is coming up. This will give me a glimpse. Then this is the monthly goals. So you remember I had the yearly goals. From there I have taken, I will break them down to the months to be done specifically. The YouTube one is the first one and the blog is the second and then I had some initiatives which I was not uh, doing much about it so the plan for the Facebook page that is De Maria Handmaids and I have a Catholic mothers group so the kind of discussions that need to happen there the topics the themes the sharings everything uh, will be put down here so that I remember that during this month I need to do all these things then this is the week in a glance so each week whatever things have to be done I'll just write them there so when I planned each day I can just look through that particular week's tasks and goals and things that I have to do and dedicate it for each day so this is the week day one day two day three day four day five day six day seven so each day whatever is coming i will just jot down and whenever it is done the cross out and the cancel and everything will be done so you can basically divide the page to to make it even more simpler there you don't really have to make boxes or um, designs or things like that but uh, even a simple um, division will do but I have used this design for one of the months earlier and I liked it because it's it has those shadows, the colors, so some element of color comes in. Now. So yeah, so these are the four weeks for January. Then some people also put down, make three columns in one page and uh, put down the time. And they put down the appointments there so if you are a person who wants uh, uh, the timely bifurcation of your day then maybe you can put down the time and you can put down the appointments and the work that needs to be done in that particular time but for me this works well so um, I use this method so the next one is the last page which is the finance tracker and the habit tracker so the finance tracker is just a simple page where I will put in the expenses the income and the expense and if there are some notes and this will the balance the totaling and everything will come in in the yearly log that I had created for finance this one is the habit tracker I had some space there so I just utilized it to track my habits you see it's just three habits that I need to track currently and I put a key down there so that it becomes easier the dates are written so each date if I'm planning I will put down the dots whenever I need to do those things and cross it out and analyze it whether I was able to do or not do how I need to build that habit so that's what I have created for the month of Jan I might utilize the next two pages too to write to myself so notes to myself if there is anything that I need to write because definitely writing helps right uh, I have always told um, people that you need to keep writing whatever comes to your mind 
So I had certain pages which were new, which I am going to try out this year. Uh, certain pages that I've already tried out in the past four months, and uh, it has really helped me to uh, keep track of the things that I'm supposed to do, keep track of the time that I have in hand, and uh, keep track of a lot of things in just one single book. So uh, try it out and uh, let me know. So. God bless you all and uh, have a blessed year ahead.